to Monday. That's right. Okay, look, I'm a car girl. I love cars. So it was quite a thrill, to say the least, to get a tour of Jay's garage. This is a showroom the size of two Costco's, at least. I'm talking hundreds of cars from every era, all with stories to tell. Jay's garage, the size and scope is, well, actually, I can't tell you because I didn't see it all. It's that big. You know, some of these cars are very valuable. Some are just old cars that I like. That one there is interesting. This car over here, this is a Russian car. This is given to me by Colin Powell. This is a KGB staff car. And Colin Powell didn't want to refuse a gift, but he couldn't drive around in a KGB staff car. But it's built with Russian steel. I mean, this thing is as heavy as a tank. What car do you think is here that people are shocked that you have? Uh, the F1. Well, this is a McLaren F1. I think this was voted the greatest car of the last century. When this car came out, it was 800,000 new in the 90s. Now they're worth about $20 million. Hey, yo, nobody's gonna ever let you drive an F1. I didn't know it was like the car. There's only 64 of them. And after Kev, there'd be 63. <laughs> Kevin Eubanks, Jay's longtime band leader, was his first and really only choice to co-host You Bet Your Life. This is why America works. See, Kevin and I are complete opposites. We have nothing in common. It's true. I, I, I'm it's a carnivore. True. You're a... I'm um, vegan. Vegan. Oh. Yeah. He's a musician. I can't play anything. When you talk to people who think different and do different things than you do, I think it opens your world up. It's like, that's why we get contestants from um, You Bet Your Life from all over the world. Somalia? Somalia, Jamaica, Nigeria. We get people who would never probably meet in real life right. if there wasn't on this game show. There's a woman that had a Christmas tree in every room in her house. Just interesting, odd sort Crushing of character. Crushing watermelon. Oh yeah, a woman who, who could crush watermelons with her thigh. Yep. Okay. That was, that I'll quality. let your imagination <laughs> run wild with that one. You're going to show me something that... Well, I'm going to show you a car accessory that was very popular that you've never seen. This is a 56 Chrysler. Okay. okay. Now, before CD player, before 8-track, you see this here? This is called the Highway Hi-Fi. It's a record player. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. The best part about all this is not the cars. It's the stories behind them. Johnny Carson's father bought this car new in 1939. Okay. Johnny used to have to polish it and take care of it. Johnny took it to his prom when he was 18. And when NBC did a special back in the 80s called Johnny Goes Home. And that's where I am right now in northeast Nebraska. And after Johnny died in his will, he had left it to me. So Wow. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I've never heard so that's story. yeah, that's why I uh, that's why I like this one. Hey, did you know Elon Musk didn't invent electric cars? Alternative fuels have been around for years. This car over here is a 1909 electric car. The green one we're looking at. Yeah, right. Baker yeah. Electric. And was marketed as a car to take shopping. You want to go for a ride? I do. So you know I got in. Hop in. Seriously. Yeah. Rich guys would buy these for their wives. They put this window down. Even how you put the window down it is. Well, this is before roll up windows. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> hey, Kevin, we're taking Brooke out to lunch. I'll see you later. <laughs> These are women's shopping cars. Most cars you had to crank, uh -huh. and they were dirty and loud and greasy. This is so cool. <laughs> this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Yeah, it's too bad Kev couldn't be there. <laughs> you saw me struggling to get out. One of the other features on a car there that I loved was yeah. the car that the seat turns out. Oh, so right. when you have on a dress, you can just kind of roll on out, and then it, it right. So you get in, you just sit down on the outside of the car almost, and then it rolls in. Which car is that? Chrysler had that back in the '60s, yes. the swivel seat, but then it was deemed unsafe in a crash, and you, know, you swivel oh, right out the door. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that would be a problem. <laughs> That'd be a problem. Yeah. This is not even your only garage, right? As big as this is. Well, I have a garage at home, but no, that's 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 my main garage. <laughs> Like, Always I looking for more. <laughs> He's like, I have a garage at home. I convert it into a walk-in closet. Oh, what a horrible, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. You and I would last five minutes. What a